Hey, sub, redstone is a tricky thing to get right. And I'm sure despite all your amazing creations, some viewers at home may feel a little left in the dust with how advanced you are. That's why today, we're building nine useful redstone machines that anyone can make in Minecraft. We're gonna break down some of the most popular redstone creations and how you yourself can take beginner steps towards becoming a master. You excited for this one, Sub? Don't get your wires crossed. Number one, scoreboards. With the new target blocks, you can create varying strengths of redstone pulse by hitting an arrow into the block at various points. Perhaps we're getting ahead of ourselves, though. What's a redstone pulse? Well, it's the amount of blocks redstones can be activated in a string without losing power. Usually, it's a maximum of 15 blocks without using repeaters. But if you combine them, you can extend your pulse. Targets are special in that they're the only block that can trigger varying pulse pulses, so you can set up a light source block at equal redstone pulse intervals to create a kind of scoring measuring system. Now the light source will trigger whenever you get a high enough pulse. Aiming for the center will light up the very top one too. Aiming for the center will light up the very top one. Almost like a score counter for practicing your aim. Pretty neat, huh? And simple. Number 2. Flying Machines for as long as I could remember, flying in Minecraft was impossible until creative mode was added. But there was still no way to fly in vanilla. I mean, Elytra certainly weren't around, but redstone was. Using sticky pistons, slime, and a few redstone tricks, you could create yourself a flying machine that travels infinitely in both directions. Pretty awesome, right? Over the years as redstone has been updated and more blocks added, designs for flying machines have become more and more compact. Now it's easier than ever to build one. All you'll need are sticky pistons, honey, some observers, and of course a note block. Clicking the note block to activate. You can learn to build awesome things like this in Minecraft every day just by subscribing to Subs World. We're on track to 1 million subscribers right now. That'd be insane. And thanks so much for supporting us so far. Number 3. Hidden Entrances to create a redstone entrance, it doesn't take much. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a semi-hipster circuit. This creation allows for a 2x2 two two block door to be opened with pistons. Sticky pistons grab the blocks from the door and pull them down into the ground with the help of observers. The way you trigger these redstone machines is all mostly up to you. Whether it's a button, lever, tripwire, hopper, or some other random block or item, hidden entrances are seriously important, and having redstone helps you to automate the process, meaning you never have to worry about doing anything crazy to get in. Number 4. Animal Farms with so many mobs in the game and an achievement to breed them all, you should avoid trying to do it all yourself and create an automated redstone animal farm instead. I know it sounds complicated, but all you need is a comparator, hopper, dispenser, two observers, a piston, and a nice enclosure for your animals. The mechanism for this is simple. By dropping an egg into the hopper, the dispenser gets filled. The comparator gets triggered by this, triggering an observer, which triggers a piston that pushes up the same observer so it can trigger another observer, resetting the process. That makes sense, right, Sub? No? Well, just look at all the redstone here and copy it. Before long, you should figure out how each piece works. You can also drop food into there to help feed and breed each species. Number 5. Mini Games 
Redstone's power to create automated processes means you can essentially set up your own special games. Of course, this is going to take a lot of work and even more testing, but with persistence, you could create a game as good as some of the top multiplayer servers out there. For now, let's start simple. Using a big set of hoppers and pistons, wire up a hopper clock that decides either rock, paper, or scissors for your machine. Next, use an AND gate to check if the players has flicked a switch. Combining these together, you can create an automatic rock, paper, scissors mini game. You choose an option, press a button, and the machine will choose an option at random to go against you. See who can win more times out of each of your friends. Number 6. Elevators There's a lot of ways to make floor-to-floor -floor elevators in Minecraft. I'm sure you can figure one or two out yourself at least. In fact, we've done a whole set of videos about them. Some can be made a little bit better with redstone, however. Remember that flying machine? I bet you do. Using observers and honey, you can also create platforms that move vertically both up and down. To do this, Create a base of furnaces with a piston, node block, furnace, and redstone block down below. Place the button where it can activate the piston. Next, build your elevator platform using honey, observers, and sticky pistons. Finally, create a second floor platform with the same furnace ring with another button. A perfect elevator for moving up and down with style. And it can carry multiple people. How nice! We're always heading up on this channel. You can get in the elevator with us by subscribing to the channel. Not everyone who watches subscribes after all. And if you remember, it could mean the difference between where we are now and 1 million subscribers. Number 7. Nether Farm With all the new nether plants and blocks, it can be pretty easy to get carried away. And if you're a redstone master, you need to stay focused and learn how to automate the growth and generation of some of this new stuff. You don't want to be the only one on the server without enough materials after all. Much like with the classic cobble generator, you can set up lava and blue ice to create basalt. This makes sense, as basalt is like the nether's version of cobble. Make sure you have a soul sand base, and then mine to your heart's content. With this, you'll have enough blocks to bridge over those lava pools in no time. Although you could just use a strider. But I don't want to take that away from you, sub. Number 8. Slime Launcher Momentum in Minecraft is pretty hard to predict, but if you test your redstone machine enough times, you can figure out quite a few things. Slime blocks cause players to be bounced. Either they drop onto the slime, or if the slime pushes into the player. Either if they drop onto the slime, or if the slime pushes into the player. Combine both of these by making a slime platform that pushes you up, essentially creating a player launcher. You could use this as a really quick escape when running from a player. You could even combine multiple slime launchers to create a large chain. The possibilities are endless. Number 9. Bridge Builder Getting across long distances is hard, especially if you're going to be going back and forth all day. It looks like you need to transfer some villagers from one base to another sub. You could just spend hours grabbing each one and leading them one by one around this really tricky biome. Or you could use the redstone to help automate the process. A bridge would fit pretty well here. And with the power of slime and honey combined, that's just what we'll make. Hey, nicely done, sub. Place slime on one side, honey on the other, and surround both with observers. Stack two pistons on each other, so the extension will be four blocks long, and able to span the entire gap. The observers help to remember where the bridge is currently, so that it can easily be retracted again. Hey, you at home, ever created your own bridge builder? What about other redstone machines? Leave a comment down below and let us know about some of your creations. Now you'll be able to put all of that saved up redstone to good use. 
And if you didn't know how to make something like a flying machine, elevator, or bridge builder, then you sure do now. Honestly, redstone can be used for so many purposes. It really is an incredible item. But with like all things, it takes a lot of practice and training to become good at it. Thanks for showing us these useful redstone machine sub. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.